So what I wanted to do with this particular striker build is create a no recoil option that's also very good at being aggressive. Now the striker isn't necessarily the best close range SMG and it's more of like a medium range style sniper support SMG, but at the end of the day, it still is very good when it comes to being aggressive. And that's what I got for you guys today. It has virtually zero recoil, so it's still got that damage range potential, but by speeding it up, giving it a faster aim down sight speed, not focusing on things like damage range, it does do a better job at competing in the close ranges. So for our first attachment here, we have the Lockman Recon Series stock for gun kick control, aiming at also and recoil control. Now this does take away some mobility, but in my opinion, the pros are going too far outweigh the cons here. This is the big attachment when it comes to giving the weapon virtually no recoil because of that gun kick at 25%, along with 5% of the horizontal and vertical recoil control. Like I said, it does take away some mobility, but it's only sm small values of 1%, 3%, and even the sprint to fire speed at 6% isn't really a big deal when you consider how much we're gaining with this stock. We're not sacrificing any aim down sight speed at the end of the day, so it's still very aggressive. For an ammunition type here, I'm going with the high grain rounds. Now, this is a preference for sure. You can go with an optic here. You could go with a different ammunition type, but because of the nature of this weapon, like I said, it's got virtually no recoil. It's going to make it pretty good at long range, and this is going to increase it by 15% here. For an under barrel, I have the X10 Phantom 5 hand stop. That's going to increase your ADS and sprint to fire along with some recoil control. So a very well-rounded attachment at the end of the day, 4% there to the gun kick, 5% to the vertical recoil control. Then we got 10% additional to the ADS speed and 8% of the sprint to fire. So we've just made up for all that we lost there from the stock. For our muzzle, we have the Trebuchet Break. That's going to give you gun kick and recoil control at the sacrifice of some aim down sight speed and damage range. But we did just make up for all of that with that under barrel. And this gives you so much recoil control, it does become pretty worth it at the end of the day. 25% to the gun kick and 15% to the horizontal and vertical recoil control at the sacrifice of 6% to ADS, which we made up for with that under barrel and a 10% loss to damage range. At the end of the day, you don't have to run this if you don't want to, but you see all that recoil control. It's definitely a good attachment. And for a final attachment, I like to use the one milliwatt quick fire laser. I've talked a lot about lasers on the channel here. I'm not a fan of lasers like this one where it really stands out. Enemies can find where you're at at all times simply because when you're ADS, you're, you're a laser shooting across the map. You're like a lightsaber at the end of the day, but it is a preference. So you guys can really choose whatever you want. I do like the one milliwatt quick fire here simply because we get aimed down sight speed of 5% with zero cons to running it. So as always, here's all of your attachments on the screen. If you guys need to pause the video and copy it down, this is the time to do so. What do you guys think of this Quantum Cola camo? I'm not like a Fallout person or anything like that, but what you guys need to unlock this camo and then go into like a dark room and look at it. It is actually pretty cool. Not all camos need to be animated in my opinion, and this is a good example of what they can do. Here is also the rest of the loadout as always. If you guys also wanted to copy down my perks, lethals, tacticals, field upgrade, we're gonna jump over to a gameplay to feature this striker build and you can see the aggression I'm talking about along with the no recoil. You guys are going to be impressed with this one. Let's get into it. Hope you guys enjoy. What do you guys think about this? What is it, Nebula Cola or whatever the hell Heck, this is called quantum cola i'm not as i think that's a zombie reference isn't it or is that a i have no fallout reference i have no idea man not my not my genre so it actually glows in the dark if you guys didn't know if you play in a dark map you guys will see it maybe if i find a dark corner i can show you something like that but it's actually kind of cool in my opinion not every camo needs to be animated and i think that's something that kind of gets overlooked by a lot of people they think if it's not animated, it's just kind of crap. Not, I don't share that opinion. But we're using the striker. I built a more, what you want to say, aggressive build here. So normally the striker is a really good, like long range choice. Whereas this time I decided to give it a more aggressive approach. Fast aim down sight speed by default has a good damage range. So yeah, it has that going for it and the recoil is pretty good. But something I've never really done is make an aggressive build because this thing's not really what you consider to be an aggressive SMG in my opinion. More of, oh, my team is throttling right now. Hold the phone. I definitely consider this to be like, I've talked about it before, like a sniper support SMG, something that you would use running like a sniper or even like a an LMG. It's like a Warzone weapon. I know it's gotten some attention over in Warzone. Not a ton. But it's gotten some. Okay. 
no UAV at the moment. Definitely puts me in a situation because I think they're going to be behind me. Never mind, not behind me. Okay. We'll use the advanced and we'll uh, try to just push forward for another one. Just guessed wrong on my end. Now they spawn behind me. Go figure. Oop, look at that nade. That's what I like to call quality. I'm in danger. I'm still in danger. Tossing some decks. Hard point I won't let any the ammo here. There we go. Nah, dude. The riot shield. Why you gotta have a riot shield, dude? <laughs> that complicates things. I'm one kill here. From the advance, so I gotta keep that in mind here. I almost choked that, by the way. I'm gonna hit a flank. Yeah. Enemies inside the perimeter. UAV is being refueled. RTV at this time. Drop them down. Secure the area. Dropping back. Tossing some decks. All right. I'm going to go with the Vs hole again because they're all right there. Yep. That's the riot shielder. Loading. Dust it up. Dropping ammo. Changing mag. I would really like this freaking chopper to do something. Chopper's really not doing anything for me here. There's an advanced. That sucks. That was awkward again. I'm choking, bro. I'm not normally one to choke under pressure, but I was. Where do you guys think you're going? Chasing these two down. They're mine. Got a riot shielder. Two of them then. Two of them were riot shields. Got another VTOL. Let's get that in. What the hell? There he is. Okay. Let's get the DNA bomb in because this is cruising along here. Hit, the, hit him with the advanced. I don't know where this guy's going. Senior riot shield. That guy just might have a riot shield. It might be the same guy. He might have a riot shield in every class he's got. Didn't even think of it that way. Out. 
reloading. Super quick, man. Super, super quick. I've been having this a lot. I want to get more kills and feature more kills and gameplays, but with the teammates I've been having, it's been definitely difficult to get higher kill gameplays because, I mean, it's a good thing. We're winning games. That's the goal at the end of the day is to win. But when the games are ending this quick, it does become a bit of a challenge to get a lot of kills. Still a DNA bombing at 69 kills, so I'll be at the end of the day.